Brownian Motion, Kinetic Theory by De Crilly Education Center. In 1827 Robert Brown was studying pollen grains suspended in water using a microscope. He was very surprised to observe that they were in a state of continuous random motion. He could not account for this movement, but later scientists discovered that the movement of the pollen grain was due to the collision of the water molecules against the pollen grains. If you observe smoke particles in air, you will notice that they experience similar movement. As a result of such observations, scientists concluded that the molecules of liquids and gases are in a state of constant, random motion, an idea known as the kinetic theory of matter. Experiment 1.3, Brownian motion. Aim, to demonstrate Brownian motion in air forward slash a smoke cell. Materials, glass, smoke, cell, optical microscope, converging lens, a lamp forward slash torch lamp procedure. Set up apparatus as shown in the figure below, a small glass cell in which smoke has been trapped is viewed through a microscope. A converging lens or glass rod is used to focus the light from a lamp into the glass cell. Observation of Brownian motion. Observation. When the light strikes the smoke particles it is scattered and the smoke particles are observed as bright specks of light. They are also seen to be moving about in a zigzag manner. Conclusion This zigzag movement is due to the collisions of the smoke particles with invisible air molecules that are also moving about randomly in the smoke cell. The zigzag pattern of air particles movement is illustrated in figure below. Thanks for your attention. Kindly like and share our videos. Please don't forget to subscribe and press the notification bell to be the first to receive the next learning video. You may also give us a comment to suggest what topic you would like us to cover. See you later.